Hi, welcome back to Sciencing with the Doctor Garden Living Edition. I don't get to do a lot of biology at my various uh, conventions and things that I do because it just doesn't work out so well. So one of the things that I would definitely like to do today is bring a little bit more biology into this. And I'm going to just do a basic thing, um, I do a couple of these, and I'm going to propagate some plants. and. The reason that's pretty neat is you can take broken pieces or plants that are very easy to propagate and make them into gifts. And what does propagation mean? Propagation is a great way to get your plant growing in another area. Um, you can create more plants from your one little plant. And as I'm showing you, the plant that I have we're going to work on today pretty much is awesome for attracting butterflies and bees to my yard. Um, this is called a portalaca. Portalaca is a succulent plant that needs very little water and very bright sun and they grow great um, in dry climates or in areas where there's no water or just really hot places. This guy I bought a year ago and I kept him inside all winter and he was miserable there but obviously he blooms all day in the bright sun and I've propagated these are this is his his or her my plant I always call him he his daughter plant, I took some broken pieces last year and stuck it in a record bowl and he's growing away. And my neighbor had a portalaca and when she moved, she broke off some pieces and gave them to me so that I could have a piece of her, um, her yard as she grew. And this one has just, this guy's only been growing in his own pot about, I don't know, two weeks now? And he's taken off really well. So all you have to do is for a portalaca or a succulent is to pinch off a piece of growing leaf and this one I'm going to take off because he's got really long areas without any leaves and then some nice short areas at the bottom so the plant the, the parent plant is extending a lot of effort to keep that plant going when maybe it doesn't need to be so as I trim him he'll make a great um, great offspring or, or daughter plant and so you know you can pick a couple of these and the great thing is um, once you get these established you could give them to your friends or family for Christmas or put them on a windowsill so I'm just gonna look for a couple of places where there's a lot of stem with not a lot of leaves and just snap I, I just snap it right off they have a nice satisfying crack I'll get a few of those and we'll go in the house and I'll show you how to propagate. I picked off all of my pieces and we're gonna trim them up a little bit. And the best thing about succulents or portulaca is you just pop them off and stick them in dirt. Some grow in sand, the portulaca I have seem to do best in dirt. And this is just a leftover planter I had from some garden basil with soil in it. You could buy something new or take an old plant that had dirt in it, get it wet. That's a, that is important. Even though succulents don't need a lot of water, anytime you propagate or transplant something, you want to make sure the soil is damp because it shocks the, the transplant a little bit less. And make the soil loose just a little bit. I, I have a chopstick I use for this. And what I'm gonna do, this guy was kind of dying, so we're just gonna break off. I'm just gonna crack and break him fresh. And you stick it right in the dirt, wherever you want. And this one here, well, we, you can just kind of stick them around wherever you want. And this guy here, he was really long um, when I broke him off. And so I'm gonna break off those individual stems And just tuck them in the dirt. Um, so if you're walking somewhere, I'm not advocating stealing plants here, but if you see some broken pieces on the ground after a storm, especially if you live in an area like California or um, Arizona where there's a lot of succulents they use for erosion control, um, break, you know, you can pick those pieces up and you can stick them in the dirt. In fact, you can even, with some of them, break off a leaf. 
um, or if you see leaves broken off after a storm or some gardening. And you can just tuck the leaf into the dirt and they'll start growing on their own. Um, they're really neat and easy to take care of. And when I'm, I'm done with him, I'll water him just to give him a good start. Break off a little bit more leaf. And pop him in the plant. And put him, I'll water them and stick them in the sun and ignore him. They don't need to be watered very often at all. Remember those roots are really um, pretty fragile in there. They haven't been established at all. You've just stuck stems in. So you want to give them a really thorough, um, a gentle watering and that allows the soil to, um, to get pushed down in there and for that plant to start sucking up nutrients right away. So a good, good watering after you transplant anything or um, transplant it or propagate it, it's really important because it prevents the plant from getting too shocked. And then I'll just set them outside in the sun. Succulents are low maintenance, beautiful plants, and in a few days hopefully he'll have some new growth and be good to go. Now it will take him till next summer probably to get good and green and spread, but I think that Propagating some little succulents or any plant is a great way to learn a bit about gardening and have a free gift for a friend and trim your plant. So uh, thanks for watching Garden Edition of Sciencing with a Doctor Biology Style.